Shane earned $82 working for his uncle. He used the money to buy a new shirt that cost $14.75 and a pair of shoes that cost $34.90. The sales tax was $4.47. How much of the $82 does Shane have left? To determine the amount of money Shane has left, we take the money earned and subtract the money spent. Because Shane earned $82, we have the expression 82 minus the money spent is going to be the sum of $14.75, $34.90, and $4.47. Because we want to subtract the sum, we need the sum in parentheses, which gives us the expression 82 minus the quantity 14.75 plus 34.90 plus 4.47. And now we simplify the expression using the order of operations. But I do want to mention this expression is equivalent to 82 minus 14.75 minus 34.90 minus 4.47. Let's leave the expression in this form here so that we find one sum and one difference rather than three differences. So again, following the order of operations, we first simplify inside the parentheses which means we find this sum, which is 14.75 plus 34.90 plus 4.47. First step is to bring the decimal down to the sum, and now we add like we normally do. Starting with the rightmost place value, we have 5 plus 7, which is 12. We record the 2, perform an exchange with the 1, in the tenths place value, we have one plus seven, which is eight, plus nine is 17, plus four is 21. Record the one, perform an exchange with the two. And now we add the ones place value, two plus four is six, plus four is 10, plus four is 14. Record the four, perform an exchange with the one. In the tens place value, we have one plus one plus three, which is five. We now know Shane spent $54.12 and the expression simplifies to 82 minus 54.12. The last step is to determine the difference. Because 54.12 has two decimal places, let's write 82 as 82.00, giving us the difference 82.00 minus 54.12. Bring the decimal point down, and now we should track like we normally do. Notice in the hundredths place value we have zero minus two. We cannot subtract two from zero. We need to perform an exchange by going all the way to the two and the ones place value. We change a two to a one, which gives us nine tenths and ten hundredths. And now we can subtract. 10 minus two is eight. Nine minus one is eight. Here we cannot subtract four from one. We perform another exchange. The eight changes to a seven. And now we have 11 in the ones place value. 11 minus four is seven in the tens. Seven minus five is two, giving us a difference of 27.88, which means Shane has $27.88 left. I hope you found this helpful.